Okay. All right, we're gonna make a little uh, marinade here for some uh, chicken thighs. Uh, we're gonna start off with uh, uh, one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. We'll have uh, uh, three tablespoons of uh, soy sauce. I grabbed the wrong bottle. Soy sauce. And uh, three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. And uh, one tablespoon of uh, Worcestershire sauce. and three tablespoons of lemon juice. To that, we're gonna add uh, a half a cup of, uh, of uh, vegetable oil. And then we're going to add uh, a quarter cup of brown sugar. And we're going to stir that real good. And in the meantime, we're going to uh, take a, 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 a fork and just kind of poke holes in the thighs. If you got one of them uh, spring loaded meat tenderizer things. You can go ahead and use one of those. I got one, I just don't feel like washing it. Not this time of the evening. Now, I do not uh, cut the fat off the uh, off the chicken breast myself. I feel it adds flavor to it. It's gonna, it's gonna burn off anyway. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pan sear these. Okay, but we're going to let this uh, marinate, marinate overnight. Now, let's uh, make sure the uh, everything's mixed up real good. Now, just move the uh, the thighs around till they're all covered with uh, with the marinade. You can do this in a Ziploc bag if you care to, but uh, I just grab the first thing I get a hold to when I when I do this. All right. Now we're gonna we're gonna seal that up, and we'll put it in the refrigerator, and then at lunch tomorrow, uh, me and you'll be back uh, cooking lunch together. All right, 
after the, uh, uh, the, the chicken has uh, marinated during the night, overnight, you take it, just kind of shake it loose, shake, shake the uh, marinade loose off of it, and put it uh, skin side down, or what was skin side. And what we're doing, what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, sear that on a uh, medium heat. I don't know if I'm going to get the, the last one in there or not. We shall see. There we go. Yep, we got it in there. Do that on about a medium heat. And uh, I've, uh, I've used a, uh, a set of tongs to uh, take the raw chicken out of the uh, out of the marinade, and I'll wash those tongs, and uh, then flip flip the chicken again. Then I'll wash them, and I just don't like using uh, utensils on raw chicken. It just seems like it cross contaminates. All right, that's. After uh, eight minutes or ten minutes, you just be the judge of when it starts turning kind of brown on the other side. Not real brown, but just changing color. Go ahead and flip it. <clears throat> and we'll do another eight minutes on it. All right, after it's uh, been eight minutes on that side right there, what we'll do is we'll, uh, wrong lid, we'll uh, cover it up. And I like to cut, let, let it cover for about five minutes. That's more or less like steaming it. And uh, we'll check the internal temperature on it, make sure it's 160, always, uh, Temp your foods and follow uh, food safety in your in your kitchen. All right, we hit the 160 mark on uh, this point. All right, now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and flip it to the skin side down and turn our heat up. And what we're going to do is we're going to reduce what uh, moisture and liquid is in here and turn it into a glaze because of the sugar, the brown sugar that's in there. It won't take long for it to come up to, to make a glaze out of it. Just keep moving around that way it don't, don't get stick burned. Turn it over a time or two until it all starts to stick. The uh, the liquid starts to stick. You kind of want like a uh, a barbecue glaze the thickness, if you will. It'll take me just a minute or two. Press, and I'll get it plated up. All right, there's our finished product. I enjoyed doing this for everybody. Remember to invite somebody to your table. Make a memory and put a smile on somebody's face. 
Until next time. See you. Bye.